From my clinical experience taking care of veterans as a pulmonary fellow, I noticed that a lot of veterans were presenting with very advanced disease at their index diagnosis. Pulmonary fibrosis are diseases of lung scarring that, if untreated, have a median survival of three to five years. And unfortunately, all of the medications that we currently have either prevent new scar from forming or reduce the rate of scar formation. So because of that, catching patients early in their disease process is what we can do to improve long-term outcomes. There are two key problems that we're trying to solve within the VA healthcare system. The first problem is, on average, veterans face a two-year delay in diagnosis of pulmonary fibrosis. And we know that delays in diagnosis are associated with worse outcomes. The second problem that we're trying to solve in the VA is that 1.2 million veterans are eligible for lung cancer screening. 25% of those veterans will have evidence of early fibrosis in their CT scan. So that's 300,000 patients a year. We currently don't have any pathways for follow-up care. And so in order to solve both of those problems, our work has been focused on using AI to develop risk prediction models that inform care triage so that veterans at highest risk of adverse outcomes can be plugged into subspecialty care. So we have three steps in improving access to timely care for veterans with pulmonary fibrosis. The first step is developing risk prediction models to inform care triage. About 60% of the time, early fibrosis is not caught. And so what we've started doing is using AI or radiomix tools that can basically transform standard CT scans into detailed maps of lung texture. And with that quantitative information combined with the clinical variables, we're able to develop five-year risk prediction models for progression and mortality. The second step is using those risk prediction models to develop actionable thresholds for care. And then the third step is implementing those prediction models into our clinical care pathways. So what this would look like realistically is that a veteran would come in with a CT scan that had some degree of fibrosis. From that index CT scan, based on our prediction models, we would know, does the veteran need to see pulmonary immediately? Do they need further workup and evaluation? Or can they continue seeing their primary care provider with a plan for a future CT scan? And that would allow us to optimize our finite subspecialty care resources and make sure that veterans at highest risk for adverse outcomes are plugged into care. The next steps for our work, after having developed risk prediction models that inform care triage, is going to be local implementation at the Houston VA, and after a successful local pilot, we'll be expanding to all of the lung cancer screening sites. In the VA, we have 23 lung cancer screening hubs and hundreds of spoke sites, and so it'll be a staged implementation starting locally with future national expansion. So if we can find ways to optimize timely access to care for veterans within this integrated healthcare system, we can take those lessons and translate it to other healthcare systems in the United States.